welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you a huge back to school haul. I got some clothes, I got some stationery, I got some little home bits. I decided to splurge to really treat myself because last semester I was massively burnt out. Those of you that are regular viewers, you know I was really, really burnt out. And this summer break has just given me such relief. And I've been feeling a little bit anxious about going to school because I really don't want to feel burnt out again So to make myself feel a little bit better and feel a little bit more excited to go back I bought myself a bunch of stuff so that I can feel cute. I feel comfortable and yeah, let's start off with stationery. So the first thing that I bought from WH Smith was this. So this is a week to view diary. It's the Let's of London Eco Rider on the front. It has 22 to 23 and then it has light tomorrow with today. It's kind of cheesy. Anyways, it kind of looks ugly on the outside. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look aesthetic at all, but the inside is what counts. Opened it up and I just felt calmness because it's literally everything I've wanted in the journal. It has like goals for this year, special dates, projects, just like a full year overview, month overview, and then it goes into the weeks and it's just a really basic journal. Normally I got like the over the top diaries where so much is going on the side here, so much is going on the side here. Like I think my other one had a water tracker and like a to-do list and it was just a lot and it just visually wasn't relaxing but this is calming for me like oh so if you guys have been watching me for a while you know that I was doing the whole bullet journaling thing and I really liked it but it was just way too time consuming to do so I was like I'm just gonna buy another journal so yeah I'm really, really excited to use this. So the next thing that I bought were these super cute binders. So I bought three. My first semester, I only have three classes. I bought a cute little pastel pink, cute little turquoise one, and I got this yellow one. So the reason that I bought binders this year instead of a notebook like I normally would is because my exams are open book. You don't actually get tested on the lecture notes. You get tested on things outside of the lecture notes. So like recommended reading reading and then your own research on top of that. So what I was planning to do was, and I watched a lot of YouTube videos about this, so this is not my idea. I'm gonna be printing off all of my lectures before I go to the lectures. I'm gonna put them in here. I have this little hole puncher that I bought too, which is super cute. It's pastel green. By the way, they only use two holes. Look at this, how weird is this? In Canada, it goes like all the way up. Like we have three or four at least. So having a hole puncher this small is really weird. My goal is I'm gonna pre-read before I go to class, write down any questions that I have, see if the lectures answer those questions. So I'm gonna bring like this to like write things that they haven't included in the actual lecture notes. So that is my plan. I'm just gonna spend most of my time researching like the papers that they recommend and like reading beyond because I feel like I could have way better marks if I actually knew how to study efficiently. So I know if you guys think that's a good idea, I feel like it will be, but yeah. So the next place I went to was a place called Kenji. I've never heard of it before, but when I walked past the store, I was in the Trafford Center and I like literally had a freak out. I wanted to buy everything in the store. It's like the cutest little Japanese inspired. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. I had to stop myself from buying things. And then when I left the store and I was walking around the Trafford Center, I actually went back later on and bought the stuff that I put away because I just literally couldn't stop thinking about it. They're really cute. Cool. So yeah, if you are in Manchester, I definitely recommend to hit up the store. You will freaking love it. One of the first things that I bought from here was a new pencil case. It has little Shiba Inus on the front, some Japanese writing, which I don't know what it says. I just thought this was absolutely adorable to put my pencils and stuff in. Like, come on. I just really liked this one because it was black and gold, but it also still was like quite girly with this pink on it. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Bought this little bento box. I'm just gonna open it up so I can actually show you what's inside. So when you open it up, it has a little holder for some cute little chopsticks. This is so cute. So you can take it out. You don't have to carry around a fork with you. And then inside you put your food. Not really a color I would go for, but this was the only color they had left. And to be honest, I just really thought the lunchbox was cute, so I got it. A bit of stationery that I bought myself was this water bottle. This is so cute! It has little bambas eating donuts and drinking stuff. It's so cute! 
I love it. I love the little handle as well. It's like bamboo. Anti-shock. Ooh, it has hot and cold drinks. Okay, this isn't school related, but I just have to show you guys this anyways because it was so cute and it was only five pounds. I bought this cute little pig. So it's a little pig. It has a little golden spoon. And then you have the little ears. Hold up. Like, come on. Like, this is a freaking joke. How adorable is this? Even though this isn't really school related, if I'm studying and finding it really hard to focus, I can just take a break, have a cute little hot chocolate or coffee or tea in this cute little cup, and I will feel motivated. So I not only found this so adorable that I got one, I also had to get another one. This one is the exact same, but it's a koala. So again, it has the cute little golden spoon. I'm gonna actually cry. This is so adorable. It's gonna make me think of Australia and be like, okay, if I study really hard, one day you can, you can go there. So this will keep me motivated. I also had to get myself this, which is like this little icicle looking bunny pen. Is this a good pen to use? Probably not, but I bought it because it's absolutely adorable and I just had to. And then the final thing that I got, which is also not really school related, but it kind of is because you guys will see in the next video, I'm making like a whole new desk setup. So I'm getting a desk from Ikea. I'm gonna make it look really aesthetic. And I feel like this will look so adorable on the desk. It's a little money jar and it just looks like a stereotypical what you would find in like an anime or something. Thing. Did I need this? Absolutely not, but I feel like it'll make me very motivated to study. So yeah, I got that. And maybe it'll help me save as well. You can't open this, so there's no way you're getting your money when you put it in. So that is what I bought from Kenji. The next thing that I got was this bag from Amazon. Because I cut my hair, whenever I wear a backpack, I feel like Dora the Explorer. So I decided to get myself a cute little side messenger bag, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. It's corduroy, it's beige, it'll go nice with a lot of outfits. This was actually like pretty decently priced. I think this was like 14 pounds off Amazon. It's really good quality. It's big enough to fit my laptop. There's a little zipper area here, and then there's like little mini pockets not really stationary related but it's starting to go more into the clothing part of this video is i bought perfume it's the ari by ariana grande i bought this because i just absolutely love the smell i've never smelled it before this perfume's been out forever and i've just never actually smelled it and it was also on sale i got this for 20 pounds or 21 pounds with my school discount so i was like i'll just get it i don't have a perfume at the minute so yeah It's a really lovely smell. It's like musky and sweet at the same time. Okay, so now let's go on to the clothing part of the video. I was kind of going for more of like an Ariana Grande street style look. Like, you know how she wears like really baggy clothes, like oversized sweaters. Notice that most of the influencers that I follow and really look up to for style also have that similar sort of fashion. So I decided to go out and get myself those kind of clothes. And I bought them from Shein. I don't really like fast fashion for obvious reasons. But I just found like when I was going through the mall, I just really couldn't find anything and thrifting It's really hard to find clothes that also fit you <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy my staples from Shein. Hopefully from here on, I can just like thrift and depop the rest of my clothes. Cause I still need to buy like a jacket. I still need to buy leggings. So I'm gonna try to get that from somewhere else. Anyways, continuing on. The first thing that I bought from Shein were these socks. I just saw them and I just thought they were really cute cause they're like the adventure time socks. I think that's what things called. The clothing that I got was just this basic bodysuit black tank with biscuits. Paschetti? <laughs> Spaghetti straps? Yeah, self-explanatory, just really basic, but I don't have this in my wardrobe. And I find it really hard to find spaghetti straps. It's normally always like the thicker ones, so I definitely wanted this because I really love this style. And then I also got it in white as well. I think the color is quite contrasting with my skin. I feel like maybe the beige would have looked better, but I think it looks nice. I then got this tube top. This is probably more of like a summertime thing to be honest, but if I'm wearing like high-waisted jeans, if I have like an oversized cardigan or something, I can put this underneath. I think that would look really nice. The next thing that I got was just this basic long sleeve bodysuit. I just think this would look really nice with my skin tone because it's quite cool toned. It's muted color and my eyes itchy. Ooh. The next thing that I got were these 
baggy jeans. I got this in a small. Oh, I got it in an extra small, really? Oh, okay. So the next thing that I got was this long sleeve maxi dress. It's a bodycon maxi dress. I absolutely love this. It's just very basic. I love that it's like wear neckline. So yeah, I really like this because I know I'm gonna feel comfortable in this. I love dresses, but I don't like them when they're too short. So I just love the fact that this is so long. I also like the color as well. Next thing that I got were these cargo pants. They have these little buckles on the side. It looks really military style. I always love these. I'm going to pair them up with these bad boys, which is the next thing that I got, were these massive combat boots. So I feel like these two together will look really, really cool. I absolutely love these. They're so chunky. I bought these, which is so hard to find unless you're spending like hundreds of pounds. <laughs> really basic black thigh-high boots, no heel, just very plain. I just think this will look so cute with oversized hoodies, some that I'm going to show you right now. So this is the first oversized hoodie that I bought. It's just a black one, really long. It's like beautiful material. It's so comfortable. And I just think this is going to be really cozy to wear to school. Next kind of oversized hoodie that I bought. I think this is my favorite thing throughout the whole haul. Like the color though and the sleeves though. The next oversized hoodie that I bought was this one. I absolutely love this color. It's like a charcoal gray. I don't have any zip up hoodies. Like again, I don't know why I don't have any stuff like this. Oh look, another oversized hoodie as well. <laughs> This is a basic gray sweatshirt, something that I have never bought. It should be in everyone's wardrobe, but it just has never been in mine. So I now finally have one. So the next thing that I bought were like these fishnet tights. So if you can see the pattern here, I just thought this would look really cool with like an oversized hoodie, combat boots or something. Yeah, I just thought that would look really, really cool. And then the final thing, is this the last thing that I bought? Oh, I thought I bought way more. The last thing that I bought was this super cute oversized cardigan. I absolutely love this cardigan because it's cropped and it's just so oversized and so cute. Like this literally looks like something you'd get from a K-drama. I don't know which side is up and which side is down though. Like it's kind of confusing. So I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Okay, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at what I got for back to school. Really random, I don't normally do hauls, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Love you guys, bye!